A generator is really neat, kind of easy to figure out. Simply take a magnet, and if the field from the magnet, north-south, north-south, cuts a coil of wire, it makes electricity. This is pretty cool. Move the magnet, make electricity. Watch this. We're going to take a wire, the red wire, and put it into a magnetic field. That's a pretty old magnet, actually. You can see in the background the current in the wire, but what you're noticing, and it really isn't that noticeable because it's, it's dropping. I let go of the wire and it, it kind of falls, but there's actually a force pulling it downwards. If I change the direction of the current, you'll notice the current goes to negative, uh, it forces the wire back up. I push it down and uh, it lifts back up, which is a little bit easier to see what's happening. It's lifting in the air. There's a force pushing the wire out of the way. The reason this happens is because around the wire is a magnetic field. When you put electricity around a wire, you get magnetism. And those two magnets are interacting with each other. Let's see this happen again somewhere else. Now I'm going to put some current into a coil of wire. It becomes a magnet. An electromagnet is the common expression. There's a compass, and the compass is pointing at the direction of the magnet. When I turn the current off, uh, and the compass just points where it was going to. I've got magnets all over my desk, so it could be pointing at pretty much anything, but not the coil of wire. No current, no electromagnet. Current, there it is. And now we've got an electromagnet. Electromagnets are amazing. When they were first invented, people weren't 100% sure what to do. You've got magnetism and electricity. And these two are so closely related, the energy is simply called electromagnetic energy. We use it all the time. Now, if you put something in the coil of wire, you create something called a solenoid. And in fact, you can pull it, piece of metal, you can pull it with the electromagnet. It's attracted to the electromagnet. It's actually coming towards it. And solenoids are used as, as on-off switches for all sorts of things. You've got one in your car. It's how you start your engine. The battery is attached to a solenoid. There's a good little lever thing here. It's a different kind. I make contact and very quick contact. The meter doesn't really even record the current. It goes so fast. So I make contact, and there it pulls in, even before the meter was able to work. Now, an interesting application of this, of course, is the speaker. If you put electricity into a coil of wire, it can make something move. What we're going to do with the speaker is make it move in tune with music. So here's a coil of wire. As it turns out, our magnets end up being a lot heavier than the coil of wire. So we put electricity into the coil of wire, we put a magnet nearby, and all of a sudden, we're going to get not the magnet moving, but the coil of wire will actually move. And it's going to move in time with the music. We put the co magnet and coil of wire together, we get music. Pull out the magnet, no music. Pull it back in, we get music. Pull it out, no music. Put it back in, we get music. And that's how a speaker works. It's a coil of wire and a magnet. And you pay money for the coil of wire, but mostly you're paying for the magnet itself. High quality magnets tend to be heavier. So you see good quality speakers, they have uh, big magnets in them, they're very heavy. As a matter of fact, there's a group that made really cheap speakers and they put bricks in them. So when you picked up the speaker, it was heavy, so you assumed it was a high quality magnet. They tricked you. And when they come together, this really works neat. Now. My son made me disclose the truth to you. I'm actually dubbing in the music. I was recording it, but the cup doesn't give you the kind of resolution with the microphone. You could just barely hear it. Plus, the iPod doesn't produce that loud of music to begin with. And I wanted to make sure I used original music. This is my little brother playing, and it's original music. I have the rights to it, so uh, I'm using his stuff. But you get the point. When you look at speakers, you see the wire clipped and, and there's a little uh, pressure relief so it doesn't break the wire and you can see the little points where the wires are going down into the speaker itself and as they vibrate it makes the
this sound. Enjoy. Oh, I got this new toy. These are amazing. I saw these in a catalog, and I didn't even know what they were, but I knew what they were going to be. And when I got them, I was so pleased. Here's what they are. little spinning top, but they light up. And when you get them close to the glass, when you get them close to that base unit, they light up. It's really like magic. This is amazing, amazing stuff. I love these. These are so, so subtle. They're incredible. Well, let's take this thing apart and explain how it works. Now, the a top spinning on a glass thing isn't really that big uh, a deal. That's been around for quite a while. Sometimes you see in the holiday season skaters skating around on, on uh, pieces of glass. That's pretty cool. And basically all there is is a, a magnet in the base that moves. Somehow there's a moving magnet. With that moving magnet, uh, you put something on it with another magnet and it moves. But in these, there's a subtle coil of wire. And there's what's called alternating current. Alternating current goes in one direction, positive 60 volts, and then it goes in the other direction, negative 60 volts. And so it oscillates between those two at about 60 times a second, or 60 hertz. And when it does so, it creates a magnetic field. But the magnetic field becomes a, a north magnetic field, for example, and then when it reverses, it becomes a south magnetic field. So you've got a magnet that's moving. And inside each one of these little bases, there's a tiny coil of wire attached to a light. And so it's basically a generator. It's an AC induction generator, and it runs those little tops. And you put the little piece of glass back onto it, and then they work. This is absolutely incredible. It's so subtle. It's so beautiful. I bought a case of them. I've given them to my friends. I love this. Let's get in. Oh, I love this. Everybody, everybody loves these. Wow, it's amazing. How does it work? I think it's magnetism. I think it's induction. We're both right. We finally agree on something. Gee, I wonder how it works. Hmm, I think it's magnetism. I think it's induction. Wow! We're both right! <laughs> finally, we agree on something!